friends, it's me. Today I'm trying some TikTok life hacks to see if they actually work so you don't have to. Did you know, inside of a pregnancy test, there is an emergency plan B. There is no way. I don't believe it for one second. You're telling me that there is a $50 pill inside a $10 pregnancy test, huh? Pregnancy test, which I bought for this hack video. Somehow we gotta break this open. Can I do it with my hands? Oh, I guess this is not necessary. Funny story, so I ordered the groceries to my house. It went to my neighbor's house, the crazy Karen neighbor. And then he saw that I ordered pregnancy tests. And then he wrote me an email saying to stop sending things to his house and said he recorded a video and threatened to post it online and said it would be embarrassing for me. Funny guy, right? <gasps> oh, there's actually something in here. I ain't put nothing in here. What is that? There is a pill inside of this. I don't think this is plan B. There's no way. It feels like a pill. I don't think this is edible. It's like very chalky. Maybe it's for the test. It's definitely not plan B. Like there is no way they would put a $40, $50 pill inside like a $5 pregnancy test. And also if you're taking a pregnancy test and you're already pregnant, I think it's too late. <laughs> okay, so I looked it up. It's not a pill. It's just a small tablet that's meant to absorb moisture. You're not supposed to eat it. She took a scarf, wrapped it around her waist. At first, I thought this was a clothing hat, like she's making a really huge shirt, but no. You can put your baby in it. Supports the weight of a small child. I've seen people wearing these with a whole entire child in it. Now I know how. Now I don't have a human child, but I'd like to test this on my dog. Unfortunately, you can't use a regular scarf for this. It is way too short. You need something like 20 feet long to do this hat. That's only half of it. Y'all see how long this is? So hopefully I remember how to do this. So you wrap it around your waist and then cross the back and then put it over your shoulders and then take the tentacles. And this is like very nice stretchy fabric. So I tuck that in and then we're gonna take the ties, tie it around back and then bring it to the front and tie it again, tie it real good. There we go. And now I just put a baby in here. I need a baby. This is the closest thing we got to a baby. It's actually perfect. Are you snug? Are you snug as a bug? In a rug? Look. She actually fits perfectly in here. I also got another one. We got another dog that wants to come in here. Come on. Humpy's a little big. Oh, but they both fit. <laughs> They fit perfectly. This is a no fight zone. There is only loving each other. I got both of my babies. I can go up and down the stairs. I can go for a little jog. And they're surprisingly very calm in this. They even touching toes. Do you like to be in here? All right, free ride's over. You're done. You're done. Whoa, that was extremely satisfying. You gotta have the softest avocado for this to work. Did you see how easy that was? Annihilated the avocado into the bowl. If this works, I'm making guacamole. So the hardest part is basically you gotta peel your avocado for this one. Let's see if it worked. Oh no, this one. I just bought this yesterday. Look how crusty and musty this is. Why? How will I make my avocado shake? I mean. Good thing we got a backup avocado. I will be peeling this one. I don't think I've ever peeled an avocado before. This one got some mold in it. Y'all thought it was gonna look good, right? Look, there's literally mold in it. But at least we know that these are extra ripe. I feel like I can never get a perfect avocado from the store. Either too hard or moldy. There's no in between. So I just put it in the mixer and we're just gonna slam this bad boy. Like, what the heck? One in my eye. You couldn't have done it the normal way, huh? You had to try the hack. If you had the perfect avocado, this might work. I mean, this one was very soft. It's a very cool trick. And you can even use this to like mash the avocado into guacamole. Like, look at that. That's pretty good. I'm already halfway there. Luckily, I got another avocado. Let's try this one. Okay. <laughs> this one's too big to fit in here. <laughs> Why no work? This doesn't work very well. Why not just cut avocado like a normal person and scoop out the inside? This ain't it. Horrible hack. I really wanted this to work because I really wanted to have guacamole. But now, no guacamole. Only cleaning this mess. 
They put milk in a bowl, put some food coloring in it, some red, some blue, dip a Q-tip in some dish soap, <gasps> and wa-bam! The colors go crazy. Well, it actually worked though. We're gonna pour our milk in a bowl. I'm like 95% sure it was milk. They didn't say what it was, but I see white liquid. I assume it's milk. I'm gonna take my food coloring. They have little cones. Put a few dots, pink and yellow. I look like green. All right, Q-tip and some dish soap. Oh no, oh no! It went in before I could touch it. I'm touching it. I thought it was gonna do a reaction like right away. Okay, it made a funny soup. I don't like it. I'm gonna try this again because one drop of dish soap accidentally went in before I was ready. Jeez, I cannot pour milk without spilling it. Why is it moving? Do you see what this is doing? Disrespectful. Are you seeing this? It's literally having a reaction without me even doing anything. It just keeps going. Why is it doing this? I haven't even did the final step. The dish soap. You're supposed to activate it. Oh, it's too late. I'm not doing anything now. When I washed the bowl, that was the spot where the dish soap was. So it kind of just activated on its own. And it just keeps going. And it's actually pretty cool. I wonder if I can hydro dip something out of this. Hydro dip a paper towel. Oof. <gasps> Whoa. The answer is yes, you can. Tie dye a whole tissue with this. Oh, not anymore. I mixed it, it's ruined. Not as cool this time. Mmm, good soup. No. How to charge your phone in the wild. In my time, I've done a lot of phone charging hacks. And let me tell you, I have not been very successful. But this one actually looks quite promising. You take some foil, wrap it over a car charger, make it touch the battery, and well, bam Battery equals power, so I don't see why this wouldn't work. I usually don't trust these charging hacks anymore, but this one I have very high hopes for. So we're gonna get some aluminum foil, because you know, they got that in the wild. And we're gonna wrap it around the car charger. So I made a little point. It's gonna look like a little outlet. So you want these two nips to go in the hole. This one in here. They've made contact. Should look something like this. And we're gonna plug in our USB, put it where you can see it. Will the charger light up? <gasps> it did, it did, it's working. Oh my goodness gracious, it is actually working. I did it right. I think you have to hold it like this the whole time though. You can't just like put it down. Cause then it stops charging. Very cool hack. <laughs> How did I not know this was a thing? How to not make your drink overflow with the bubbles. I like it when it almost overflows, but not quite. This puts all the bubbles in the can. Just pour it out upside down. What? I feel like this takes the fun out of it. I like to play a little game. Pour as much soda as I can without it overflowing. I only have very small cups, so we're gonna have to use a jar for this one. I'm gonna... Somebody shook this. Gentle. And we're just gonna put it over it and... Pour it upside down. Oh, it's like not coming out if I don't like lift it up. Oh, well that worked. I also got a nice surprise, a plastic ring. An infant could have choked on that. Do better Coke. Let me see if this will work with a smaller cup. Will it overflow is the question. Okay, if I leave it like this, it's not gonna overflow. But as soon as I lift it, it will overflow. Ready for this? Oh, there's like a, a delay. That was stupid. <laughs> we don't have ginger ale. Yeah, you do Sprite with a splash of Coke. Ginger ale is just Sprite with a splash of Coke? I mean, it tastes like it. He slammed down the cup. It must be true. Is this what the Squid Game guards do on their day off? Rule number one, you're not supposed to show your face. <laughs> I already know what ginger ale tastes like. So we're gonna open up some Sprite. Mmm, room temperature. Pour it and use our Coke bottle from our last hack. Just, just a dash. Look at that, it's like the same color. Surely it will taste the same, right? tastes more like Coke, but it does it does kind of taste like ginger ale. That's weird. That is very weird. Does ginger ale have any ginger in it? Or are they lying to us? Ginger ale is one of the only sodas I will ever drink. So the fact that I took more than two sips out of this means yeah, it's pretty good. So this whole time, no ginger, just some caramel lemon lime. Y'all disappoint me. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.